Let's see how to create wireframe landing page in UX Pilot. Okay, so today I want to show how you generate wireframe landing page in UX Pilot. It's very easy and I will show this demonstration with the website I create for my AI course for product designers. So I'm here in UX Pilot, but I have also my brief. Here is my brief. So the brief has two sections. The first one is general about the landing page, as you can see here. I explain a little bit about the project, my goals, and the audience and below there is the page structure as you can see here first of all i copy the page idea as you can see here copy all of this and then go to ux pilot and paste it there here in ux pilot i need to select between wireframe and high fidelity design for that case let's select wireframe below there is one model of wireframe you can use so nothing to select here and i can select between desktop and mobile app i will select desktop but if you want to start with mobile app you can do it also here in the text feed, I open it and I paste here all the information about the landing page. I paste it and you can see all the information about the page, the objective and the target audience. I click on update context and now I go below, as you can see here, to create a flow. Here I paste all the information about the page I want to create, all the sections of the page. If you have more than one page, you can click here on add screen and add a second information about the second screen. So for example, if you have about page and you want it in a separate page, you can click on add screen and add a second page. But for my case, I want only one page. So let's eliminate this one. I go back to the brief and here in the brief, I have the skeleton of the page. As you can see here, the page structure. I have here also the testimonial, pricing, call to action and all the stuff. I copy all of this, go to the expired and paste it there. I pasted here in UX Pilot all the information. Don't worry if it's not very organized. If you write it well, it will work. You don't need to organize it here on the box. Just write it well and explain to the AI what you want it will create. Now we are set, I click on generate and then you can see here it will generate us the wireframe page with all the sections we ask for. Okay, it's finished the work and as you can see here we have the hero section with the course form, the course structure, I have here what you will get about me, testimonials, pricing and FAQs. So I have the basic structure and before I continue, we'll just let you know if you want to use your expired, you have a link on the description. So here on the course structure, I want to add bullet points that explain every day what the student will study. So it's very easy to do from your expired. I go here to the top, click on edit screen, paste here the prompt. In the course structure section, write for each day five bullet points that explain exactly what the students will study every day. So I click on generate and then it will create another version of this landing page with my changes. It's finished the work and as you can see here, it's added bullet points for each day. I want to make a little bit more changes and add two days on each row, but this I will do after that in Figma. In one moment, I will show you how to import it to Figma. Before we do it, if you want to back to the previous version, here on the top, you can go between the first version, as you can see here, when I didn't add bullet points, but if I want to go to the current version, I can click here and then we are in the current version. You can take a look here. Another thing that you can modify from here is change the typography. If you have a specific typography that you work, you can change it very easily and you expire it and fit for your brand. So how you do it, you go to the top of the page and on the top of the page, we have this menu, three dot menu. I click on it and here click on change font and I can select any font that I want. I will make a little bit zoom out and I search it for Laura typography, click on it and we have the Laura typography here and you can play with it as you want. So here you have it, I click on save and then the page is ready. In the case you want to move to Figma and continue iterate on it, it's very easy. You can do it from the UX pilot plugin. How will do it? You click here on save for Figma and then move to Figma and import this page in Figma from the UX pilot plugin. I go now to Figma, I click here on the menu below, open the UX pilot plugin I click here on save section and then you can see all the versions we have for this page. The first one and the second one. I will import the second one. And as you can see here, we have the second page and we can continue iterate on that. Now, one important thing to know is that it's not create component for this landing page. And personally, I prefer it when I work with wireframe because I make more changes and I don't know exactly the structure of the page. So it's very easy to make changes in that way instead of work with component and start to detach them. So here's the tutorial about how to create wireframe in UX Pilot. Remember that in the description, you have a link to UX Pilot and I will add in the description also a playlist with many tutorials about UX Pilot. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Take care.